All right, so I've got the interior partitions and I've got the beginnings of my um, kitchen laid out here. So I'm ready to um, start to put in some of the actual objects into my scene so that I know I've got the right amount of space for everything. So uh, this is the, the template we can use for a shower and you can see that it has 30 inches or 36 and 30 inches we know from looking at the building um, requirements um, that uh, 30 inches is the minimum. So I'm just going to line it up with the wall here and draw these lines to there, let's say. And then um, I want to line this up this way um, with uh, the, let me see, I want to do it this way so I can get 30 inches in the depth as well. So I want to line it up with the 30 inch mark on the wall this way as well, and then have it connect like that. So that's the shower dimensions. And with a shower, so I'm just gonna erase the lines here. So with a shower, I would add a little edge here, an extra line. Um, you do need to um, have a wall next to the shower. Usually showers are three-way or uh, three side showers. Three sides are a wall surrounds it on three sides and then you have an opening on the um, one side. And then it helps to read that as a shower if you put an X through it like this. and then a little circle <clears throat> for the drain. And there's a perfect size right there for the drain. Okay, so now we can read that. That's a shower. And this I think is gonna work nicely right here as a closet, a tiny, all but, all but tiny, but still, um, this is gonna be a closet that will service this, room, this space. This is going to be a bedroom over here. So I'm just going to imagine that that's going to be a closet. And then we're going to see a, a door into the bedroom here. And I want to make that door um, six inches from this side. So we measure the six inches or three inches rather from the edge, at least three. Three to four is better. Um, but we're working with the tight space here. So there's where three inches for the hinge side. And then I think a, um, a two six or a two four door in this scenario would be plenty because it's a container house. Um, so it's pretty small. You need to position the door template, put the swing in. And I wanna put the actual thickness of the door in. So I just move the template over a little bit and um, draw the thickness of the door in like that. So there's my, my door. I'll put a door in that too in a minute. So I've got, I know I, I have the shower here. I know I have to go over at least 24 inches to clear the shower. If we look at your plumbing clearance dimensions. So I'm just gonna put a reference line there. And then I will take my toilet template and let's measure where 15 inches is from the wall. So I want to go over um, one foot, three inches. And we can center that toilet on that line. So see, I've got that little mark centered on the toilet and I have the front end of the toilet lining up with that construction line that showed me the 24 inches clear. So I'm going to trace the tank side and try not to move it or pick it up and trace the front. So now I've got my toilet symbol in the right place. Um, and then I think I could put a kind of a tiny sink. Um, I might be able to fit one right here. It needs to be um, two inches away or the clearance needs to be, I think, two inches away from the from the toilet 
And let's see what we have for dimension left over. Um, I think I could probably find a one and a half inch or 18 inch um, sink to put there. So we're gonna put our wall here. And we'll put a wall mounted sink here. I mean, this isn't gonna be the lap of luxury or anything, but um, I think that's going to work. So it's just gonna be a smaller, smaller sink there. It might be one of those rounded ones. And we'll just draw in the actual basin. So it will be tiny, but it could work. They do sell tiny sinks. We'll put our little symbols for our uh, faucets back here. So that now I have to put in the door to the bathroom and I'm gonna align it right here and make sure I have at least a two foot door. I think I can get away with a, let's see. Let's see, yeah, two foot door, whoops. Sorry about that, I just accidentally kicked off my, so there's my two foot door right here. And then I can use the door template for the two foot door. There's one right there, line it up. So it's going to swing in the correct direction. I must not have measured it right. Um, so we'll correct it here, but that looks like that's still gonna work. And then we'll put um, another line in here for the thickness of the door. There's my 2O door, just correct where that line ended up. I don't know how I did that. I must have measured from the wrong line. So now I've got that little bathroom laid out and it meets the clearance requirements. And then over here in the kitchen, um, I can look for a, um, a sink template. Um, it looks like I've got one right there and there. And so I'm gonna do a smaller sink right here. It's gonna be an undermount. And I kind of want it centered on that. And then I will put a little drain. Um, there's a tiny drain right there. We'll put it right there. And we can put the faucet in the back. Um, Okay, so there's where our, our sink is. The dishwasher, I do want to put in a dishwasher. It's under the counter after all. And so I can look to see if I've got a dishwasher, but I know a dishwasher is 24 inches wide. So as long as I'm able to get 24 inches on this side of the, and it looks like that I couldn't have planned it better. So there's my dishwasher. And I will sketch in the front door of the dishwasher and maybe the handle. And then just write D W. And then um, I'm gonna do just a small um, compact um, range top, cooktop with just two burners. So I'm gonna do it about this size right here. So this, after all, this is kind of a tiny place. Um, maybe that size is better. Do it about that size right there. I want enough room for drawer cabinets on the other side. And then I can pick this up and use these, this uh, looks like I gotta make the burners a little bit smaller. So you make the burners, just a small little cooktop, um, and range top or whatever, built in right to the countertop. Um, and then we can say, well, there's gonna be, let's extend this just a little bit more and we'll put an under counter refrigerator in here. So again, we'd show the hidden lines and show the object lines for the um, door. And I'll just show a handle right here. So that's the refrigerator. And that's it. So we can put in some upper counters, upper cabinets. Upper cabinets would be one foot in. Put some upper cabinets right here. And I'm gonna stop them just before they hit the sink because I wanna put a window over the sink. 
and then we might need to have some hood or something like that over the range so we'll leave that open and that will be where our upper cabinets will go okay then um, over here we're going to have a big open space but there's going to be a um, uh, a set of spiral stairs to go upstairs and I think I can position the spiral stairs so that they're centered somewhat off of this wall right here um, not centered but just the same distance off that wall the spiral stairs by the way that to the center of it should be a minimum of two feet because each side of the spiral stair needs to be about at least two feet wide so there's where the center of the spiral stair would be I'll draw a circle on top of that. That's going to be the center post, basically, that's going to hold it up. I think that post will be fine. And then um, I could either use a larger circle template or um, measure in the other two directions the two feet. Draw the square that the spiral stairs are going to fit into and then just kind of sketch those spiral stairs in there. So now we're being very careful about the exact dimensions of things and that's the difference. So as we go, we might discover, oh, this isn't gonna work. I have to, you know, kind of go back to the drawing board on that one. Um, and uh, we're gonna um, create a little connection here to make those spiral stairs um, end at the top here, somewhere at the top of the uh, stairs and we'll have them start um, maybe here in the, um, and go up in this direction. So I'm going to draw a few of the steps. And then after you get to a certain point, you're going to have to put in a brake line. Um, to show that that's just kind of continuing up to the second floor. And then it's always important to show which direction we are going in from the view you're on. So this should say up like that. Okay. And I think I'm going to pause there because I got pretty much all of the features that I want of the um, plan view kind of laid out. And so what I want to do next is figure out where I'm going to put my doors and windows and I will do that in the next video.